All right, everybody. Now in today's video, we are back at it again. Today, we're going to be reacting to Scooby Doo. Um, if you guys got to enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe, channel as always. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> you know, everybody's been saying Logan looks like Shaggy from Scooby Doo, so I don't know if any. I don't know if SML is actually going to give that reference in this video. Probably not. But I feel like it'd be pretty hilarious if they did. Anyway, it's a long video, 13 minutes, so let's get right on to it. All right, guys, you ready to go practice trick-or-treating? I still don't understand why we need to practice, practice. trick-or-treating. We've been doing it for years without a problem. Because, Cody, this is a dress rehearsal for Halloween. We make sure our costumes look good and make sure we say trick-or-treat right. How do you say trick-or-treat wrong? You just say trick-or-treat and then they give you- Bro, Joseph's costume's actually spot on. I couldn't even tell it was Joseph for a second. Candy. No, Cody, you have to say the whole thing. That's how you get more candy. You say trick-or-treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. And then the ref. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. I like that better. What, no, no, no. We're not going to say that. That is not part of it, bro. If you don't, I don't care. I'll pull down your underwear. Like, you're threatening to assault them? You're threatening to pull their underwear down? Who wrote that? Bill Cosby or Jared Fogle? Well, that's just how it goes, Jenny. We're not saying that part. See, this is why we have this whole dress rehearsal. So we say it right, because if you say that, we're going to get arrested. All right, so I think we have the whole gang. We got Joseph as Scooby. Ruh -ruh, Raggy. And we got Penelope as... Daphne. Daphne. And we got Cody as... Thelma. <laughs> and then we got Fred. Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm Shaggy. Wait, we're missing a character. We're missing Scrappy. Of course, Junior is Shaggy, and Logan voices Junior. Dude. So. Oh, we don't have a Scrappy Doo. Oh, Chef Peepee would be a good Scrappy Doo. But we don't even have the costume. Uh, I'm gonna go ask him if he wants to be Scrappy Doo. But we don't have the cut. Whatever. Come on, guys. He has to see. He has to see our costumes. Okay. Make him want to do it. <laughs> hey, Chef Peepee. No, not right now, Junior. I'm making fried fruit by the foot. That sounds yummy. Wait, you guys just like curse the cowardly dog. This is why Americans are obese, bro. This is why this is why there's an obesity problem here in America, um, as a, North America as a whole. Honestly, um, fried fried fruit. Oh my! Uh, fried we, fruit wait, by the foot. Really, no, no, we're no. not encouraged the cowardly dog. This I, is I don't terrible. Know what would make you even think that? I mean, I guess I could be Muriel and Junior could be Eustace Bags, but no, that's not what we're doing. But Joseph is the dog. No, we're Scooby Doo. Ah, uh, never heard of it. Impossible. Everybody's heard of Scooby Doo. Well, I didn't, cause I never had a TV growing up. Well, I feel like it still would have gotten around somehow. Well, it, it missed me. It never got, got around. What do you guys want? We want to know if you want to dress up like Scrappy Doo. Who? Well, Scrappy Doo is like a little courage, the cowardly dog, who's also an asshole. No, I want to be Clifford. Oh, you've heard of him. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Who hasn't heard of Clifford <laughs> the Big Red Dog, you idiot? Okay, but we don't even have a Clifford costume or a Scrappy Doo costume, so I don't even know why we're asking you. Come on, guys, let's go practice saying trick or treat. Bother me and my fruit fry. Mm. Uh, it's good to be a billionaire. Oh, Goodman, that, that is yes, a gorgeous Indeed. house. Bro. More yummy. Very well, sir. Hurry, Ties, I'm parched like a pear tree. Oh, come on. Ties, you're blindfolded. Put it on. I don't want your life to be too easy. Oh, very well, sir. You better not spill it. I swear to God, if you spill one drop on that counter, I'm going to beat your ass. You know what? I'm going to come watch. Oh, where is it? You better not spill it. That is Poppy Rose 2007. But, sir, I can't see. Didn't you go to Butler School or some shit? Well, they didn't teach me this in Butler School. Well, they should have. Wasn't it on your resume that you were the best blindfolded wine pourer? Sir, you just made that up. No, I didn't. You better start pouring. I just don't see under what circumstance anyone would ever need to blindfold themselves in order to pour wine. This one. Now get to pouring. Oh, very well, sir. Oh, I, I think I'm getting it, sir. I <sighs> I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Look what you did. There's no way. I swear I was pouring it in the glass, sir. Chives, I'm tired of you screwing around. Now get your ass out there in the yard and pick up the gardener shit. The gardener defecates in the yard? Yes, you know he's not allowed in the house, that old stinky fuck. Oh, very well, sir. Go! Quintinera! Get in here! Mess time! Did you pour for me, Mr. Goodman? Yes, mess time. Oh, do you want me to get back on my mace? No, that's yummy time. This is mess time. Clean it. Oh! Do you want me to make a mess with my mouth? No. Take <laughs> your hand and a napkin and rub o the table o and clean up the fucking mess. Oh, so you just want me to clean up this wine with this napkin? CC's pizza. Yes, yes, pizza. Now I'm gonna go make sure Javier the gardener didn't leave his orange picking ladder under my fucking orange tree, or else he's going right back to Chihuahua, Mexico. Okay. <laughs> 
This is so wrong. Oh my god! Oh my god! She didn't even clean up the mess! Bad quinceanera! Bad! You're fired! No more job! Bye bye green card! Sir, she's dead! She's been stabbed in the back! And you know what that means, Chives? That means you're gonna have to pick up the slack around here and start doing all her jobs! That means cleaning the house! Giving me blumpkins! Oh. Give me thank you, Tom! No, sir, anything but that! I really think we should just call the police! Okay, you do that, and I'm gonna go Google up some cities in Mexico where I can find a new one. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, I got Cancun, my bros. Phone. That's that's where you're 911, what's your emergency? Please help! There's been a murder! Oh, do you know who did it? No, 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 it just happened! I have no idea who could have done it! Well, don't worry, because you're talking to a clue master. Let's see, it has to be Colonel Mustard in the study with the candlestick. What? No, no there's no Colonel Mustard here. Okay, then it's definitely Professor Plum. It's always him. <gasps> what? Well, are you playing Clue? Yeah, are you not playing Clue? Sir, there is a dead body here! Someone has been murdered! Oh, shit. For real? Uh, okay, well then I'll, I'll be right there. Thank you, please hurry. He's already here. Hello? Trick or treat! Bruh. I know Halloween's not till Thursday, but we wanted to practice saying trick or treat. What? It's three fucking words, Junior. I, I called the cops though! There's been a murder! A murder? You hear that, gang? We solve crimes. We, we're the mystery gang. Yeah! The the mystery gang? Oh, you must mean forensics! Yes, come right in! The body's this way! But, <laughs> Bro, if, if 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 a forensics team looked like that and showed up to my house, I'm slamming the door. I don't give a shit what kind of forensics team that is. I'm ordering a new one. That ain't oh, no forensics team, brother. No, Junior, we don't solve real crimes. Well, but we're, we're the mystery gang. Let's ask Scooby if we should go in. Hey, Scoob, should we go in? Roll, roll, Raggy. Good idea, Scoob. Let's go. What? All right, the body's over here. Zoink, Scoob. Jinkies. Yabba dabba doo. That's the Flintstones. Oh, my bad, dude. Say it right. Oh, ro ro Reggie. Do you have any dog treats me and my dog can eat? What? Uh, no. Oh. Well, all right, gang. There's a dead body. What should we do? I think we should split up and search for clues. Come on, Daphne. Okay. All right, guys. There's two clues here. A knife in this girl's back and a body with a knife in it. I think you can get those as one. Oh, look, we're gonna all you need to do as as a first step here is take the knife um hold it by a very specific part very gently a very specific part and then just scan the knife for fingerprints if there are any fingerprints then great if the person used a glove like a smart man or woman then okay you move on to the next step but that should be your first priority we're gonna solve this murder we're gonna find out what happened to her junior what the fuck are we doing here we're supposed to be practicing for trick-or-treating which is stupid anyway because it's not even that hard it is kind of hard guys we've been trick-or-treating our entire lives and not one time have i messed up saying trick-or-treat then why do we need to practice because there's some people who have a hard time saying trick-or-treat hey joseph how do you say the words when you open the door on halloween oh smell my feet give me some money See, he doesn't, he just doesn't quite get it. Okay, yeah, I understand that, but we're not gonna solve a murder, Junior. But look, we're the Scooby Gang! We can solve murders just like they do in the show! Okay, they're not called the Scooby Gang, and they don't solve murders. Usually it's just some goofy guy in a mask running around trying to scare people for insurance purposes or something. What was that last part you just said? For insurance purposes or something? Hey, bald man! Do, yes. do, does anyone, like, p pull out, like, a life insurance policy on this woman before she died? Well, Mr. Goodman did, but he does that for all of his servants. <gasps> We should speak to this Mr. Goodman guy and see where he was during the murders. Well, he was with me in the backyard while I was picking up the gardener's shit. Where was the gardener? He was with me, watching me pick up his shit. Oh, I'm out of suspects. We should leave. Yeah, I agree. We should go home and let the police handle this. Wait, what did you just say? I said we should let the police handle this. Police? Police help me is what she said before she got murdered. I can hear it in my head. No, you're not hearing it in your head. You're just thinking that because it sounds like please. Wait a minute. I think I know who did this. Okay, who did it? Chef Pee Pee. What, what the, the fuck? Did Chef Pee -Pee do this? Where was he at when she got murdered? Probably your house, where he always is. See, you always think he's at my, at my house. See, we don't we don't ever think he's anywhere else. So he could be here, stabbing her in the back when we least suspect it. Why would it be him? I don't know. Why wouldn't it be him? It literally could be anyone in the world. Yes, it could be literally anyone in the entire world. So we have to start interviewing everyone in the entire world. Junior, we're never going to interview everyone in the world. Not with that attitude. If you just stop talking and stop yapping, we can get and start. 
talking to people. Okay, well, let's go talk to Chef Pee Pee. All right, well, I think we should drag the body and show him the body. J Junior, why are we gonna drag the body there? Because if we show Chef Pee Pee his victim's body, he's going to cry when he sees his victim. Like, you, you, if we go say, hey, Chef Pee Pee, did you kill someone? He could lie to us. But if he sees the body right in front of us. Sometimes Junior's so stupid that it's funny. He's gonna cry because he's gonna remember stabbing her in the back. I think if you show anybody a dead body, they're gonna freak out. Listen, you just go find the other two, and me and Scooby are gonna drag these people to drag this body to our house. Okay, fine. Uh oh. Come on, Scooby. She's slipping. She's slipping. I got her, dude. I got her. Grab the body. Grab the body. I got her, dude. Well, what are you saying? Uh, 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 Rogo, Raggy. Yeah, that's right, Scooby. Hey, what are you guys uh, doing? Oh, hey, cops. Uh, we are solving a murder. Really? Because it looks like you guys might be doing a murder. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. See, we're the Scooby gang, and I'm Shaggy. He's Scooby Doo. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, and so uh, this guy called the Scooby gang to solve. Uh oh. Murder. No, he called the police, and I would know because I am the police. Oh, well, listen, you don't have to do anything. We got it from here. We, we, we have a prime suspect. Oh, well, who is it? My chef, uh, Chef Pee Pee. Oh, what clues have you found? Uh, we found a knife in this woman's back, and she's dead. Okay, and what about that says Chef Pee Pee? Uh, the kitchen knife. Uh, the ki the, thank you, Scooby. What'd mm -hmm. you say? Uh, uh, row, row, kitchen knife. Yeah, yeah, so the, the, the kitchen knife, my chef is in the kitchen, and he uses kitchen knives. So maybe he came over here and stabbed her with the kitchen knife. Okay, but we're nowhere near his house. Yeah, see, that's that's what makes him a prime suspect because no one was to suspect it's him. And he just probably came over here and did this real quick. Okay, look. <laughs> real uh, quick. I don't feel like arresting all of you and doing all that paperwork, so I'm going to let this play out because I have a feeling you guys are just going to call me later. Yeah, he realized we're better than him. <laughs> totally. All right, come on, the, the body's slipping, the body's slipping. Oh, oh Jesus, slippery one. <gasps> oh, my God! I think I found a clue. Oh my God, where? It's right there, it's a mask. Oh my God, you found a clue, yeah! Yes! Oh my God, yes! oh my God. Hey guys, uh, Shaggy. That was so zesty. Anyway. Me and Scoob are dragging the body back to Shaggy's house. Hey Velma, look, I found a clue. Yeah, she totally found a clue. Oh wow, good job guys. No, say the thing. Yeah, say the thing. <sighs> Jinkies, a clue. This damsel's distressed. Okay, but guys, seriously, can we cut the shit? Somebody's actually dead, and Junior's dragging the body back to his house, so grab that. I think it might be important. Okay. okay. What am I doing wrong? Hey, Chef Pee Pee. No, not right now, Junior. I'm trying to fry this fruit by the foot, but it keeps melting. Have you tried putting batter on it? Hmm, okay, okay, okay. I'll try that next time. Hmm. Chef Pee Pee, do you know this woman? <gasps> Why did you bring a dead woman in here, Junior? How do you know she's dead? Because she has a knife in her back, you dumbass. I never pointed out the knife. How do you know there's a knife in her back? How do you know that's how she died? Context clues, I can see with my own eyes. Duh. Hmm, Chef Pee what have you been doing tonight? Frying fruit by the foot. Did you not hear me? Are your ears not working? And you've been getting mad at that fruit by the foot, right? Yes. Like really mad? Yes, frustrated. And maybe you want to take that frustration out on a woman's back with a knife? Uh, well, maybe, but no, not really. I don't even know this lady. Oh, okay, so you don't know this lady. How do you know she's a lady? How do you know she doesn't identifies as a lady? How do you know she doesn't identify as a man? Because <laughs> how do you know her pronouns? I don't know her like that. I'm just assuming. Wow, and what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and me? Damn, you're right. And what does asses do? Shit. Mm. And you're talking a lot of shit right now, Chef PD. What do you want from me, Junior? Did you kill this woman or not? No, I didn't kill that damn woman! You swear to God? I swear to Moses, anybody! Moses, he didn't swear to God, but he would swear to Moses. Well, bro, what do you want from me, Junior? You just forever, for some reason you can't swear to God, but you'll swear to me. I swear to God, okay? Does that make you feel better? Hey, Junior, they found this mask. It might belong to the killer. Uh-uh, that mask is way too big to fit my small face. Oh, couldn't be me. Mm -mm. Yeah, he's right. This mask would never fit him. Oh, I guess we have to look for other suspects. Wait a minute. What now? When we came to ask you if you wanted to be Scrappy-Doo and you thought we were Courage the Cowardly Dog, which is no way close to what we are, I think I saw that mask behind you. What? No, you didn't. What are you talking about? Wait, Junior, look right here. It says property of Chef Pee Pee. <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, shut, stop gasping. You know what? Fine. I did it. I did that shit. What? What? Wait. No, no, no. I'm so confused right now. No, 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 no. no. I'm so confused. Wait, 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 guys. I'm so confused. Was it actually? What? Dude, I'm actually speechless. I'm actually so speechless. I killed that bitch. Zoinks. Jinkies. Let's split up, gang. But why? Scooby Snacks. What? L look, I, I killed her because I hate working here. And I want to work for Mr. Good. I was actually about to say that. Guys, I promise you, I was about to say Chef Pee Pee. The only reason Chef Pee Pee would do it is so he can make more money at another job. But that's literally the only thing I could think of. I didn't think it was actually going to pan out this way. Man, if she stole my 
job. So I said, if I could sneak up and stab her in the back while she's working and cleaning up, oh, she could die. And it would be a job opening available, and it, I could steal all the jobs. <laughs> it would be mine. And I could have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you, Curse the Cowardly Dog. Nope, not even fucking close. You had one line and you messed it up. Yeah, Chef, you you're supposed to say, if it wasn't for you, meddling kids. Meddling kids, yeah. I told you I didn't watch that damn show! You're gonna go to jail for killing someone. You swear to God also, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. That's pretty fucked up. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. That is uh, not what I expected. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe to us as always. I will start working on the monthly review shortly. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, everybody.